everyone welcome back to my youtube channel iraqi dinar news today where we share the news about iraqi dinar vietnam dong and other country currencies so if you new on my youtube channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more latest news about iraqi dinar vietnam dongs and all other currencies so let's dive into the video hello friends welcome back to our youtube channel hopefully you're all doing well. Today, I have some latest updates on the Iraqi dinar, specifically about the Iraqi dinar floating and the exchange rate. So, let's dive right into it without wasting any time. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I pray for everyone's long life, good health, prosperity, and success. Let's start with a question. What type of paperwork is required for currency exchange? Not every teller can open a savings or checking account. There are designated account directors or branch managers who handle these tasks. Moreover, all bank managers and assistant managers are qualified to open accounts. When it comes to making a currency exchange, you can use your existing bank accounts regardless of the bank. Just provide the routing number and account number, and the exchange process will proceed smoothly. Regarding Iraq's World Trade Organization WTO, accession package, it may not be submitted for relinquishment until MC14, expected in early 2026. This indicates a delay as it wasn't submitted at MC13. Additionally, Receiving emails from dinar dealers offering to buy dinars back at a good rate suggests positive developments, especially considering Iraq's restrictions on dinar transactions. The International Development Bank's opening notice is another indicator of preparations for the new exchange rate. Banks are educating customers about the services they'll offer post rate release. Discussions about revaluation continue indicating anticipation among bankers and financial experts. Regarding the possibility of floating the dinar, opinions vary. Some see it as beneficial for Iraq's economy, while others perceive it as risky. Floating the dinar would align with market mechanisms of supply and demand, similar to policies followed by the American Federal Reserve. In conclusion, there are dynamic discussions and preparations surrounding the Iraqi dinar's exchange rate, banking services, and potential economic strategies. Stay tuned for more updates and insightful discussions on our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for regular updates. Thank you for watching, and let's hope for positive developments in the near future.